Hey YouTube, it's Blake. Uh, today I'm gonna to do a video on a helium hotspot that I've installed. Uh, it's a Rack Wireless version two hotspot with a Rack 8 DVI roof mount antenna. It's actually mounted on the chimney uh, over PoE, uh, powered on PoE. It worked out pretty good. I've got 25 foot of LMR 400 cable. And this one's been up about two weeks or so now, and it's it's turning out pretty good. Uh, let's get into it. All right, starting off, what I did here was, there's my miner. This is kind of like a little patio room right here. Uh, this is where my batteries are. You know, uh, sunscreen for the pool, lawnmower batteries, blower batteries, things like that. Uh, so the chimney is right here, and we mounted the pole on the chimney straight above us. So what I did, I just drilled a hole right here, ran the LMR 400 straight down, and it came out right here, plugged it into the miner, and ran the Ethernet cable out of the same hole, plugged it into the PoE, uh, plugged the PoE into the Ethernet port and plugged it into the USB-C. You can see that right there. Yep. And then I just put two screws in the wall just to hold it. It really didn't need it. It, it stayed up there by itself without them. I just figured just to give it a little support. I'll just put those screws on there. It worked out pretty good. And if I ever want to take it down, I've just got to fill in two little holes. And it's just this big hole. I'm gonna worry about trying to fill in later. So let's go check out the uh, BOE. So on this install, I went a little overboard, I'm not gonna lie. And I decided to move my modem and my router into this closet. They used to be on the other side of this wall down on the floor underneath my computer desk. Uh, you know, the cables were, you know, everywhere. It was a mess, I mean, look at this mess right here. So what I did was I went up in the attic and I grabbed the coax, I pulled it out of the wall over there and I drilled a hole in the top plate right there, ran it down. I put in, a, I put in four plugs right here, double den cut in box. And then I put in another six port cut in box so I can upgrade my ethernet if i want to right now i just have one that goes to my miner and then one that goes to my computer and then the other one that's my isp so the isp coax goes into my modem modem into the router now the reason we came in here this is my poe so poe here we go this kind of, this comes out of my uh, internet, then this goes and gives my uh, gives my hotspot power for the PoE. Plugs in right there. Behind it is a smart switch, powered off of Wi-Fi. It is inexpensive, one of the cheapest ones you can buy. All it does is powers on and off. It doesn't give you any energy readings, anything like that. It just turns on and off. That's all I need. So if something happens to your miner, it's not performing, you think it's stuck, it's stuck in a block, it's reading uh, not synced, something like that, you can turn it off from anywhere in the world. Power it off, wait 20 seconds, a minute, whatever you want to wait, and then turn it back on from anywhere. And you don't have to come in here and unplug it. You know, if you're at work, oh, no, it's not working. Boom, turn it off, turn it back on. No worries. I recommend buying one of those with every single one of your miners. Love it. It's great. I'm also, and I've got one miner in here. It's sinking right now. It'll be installed this week, waiting for an antenna to come in. So that's where we went there. So uh, I think that worked out. I have another house and I moved it into the closet as well, you know. After I figured out it really wasn't that hard to move all this into the closet, make it uh, clean. So let's head on up to the roof and I'll show you the chimney mount 
uh, with the, uh, the poles and the 8 dBi antenna. Now up here on the roof, you can see we have our antenna. It's an 8 dBi rack antenna mounted to the chimney. Uh, I use these RCA antenna poles I found at Lowe's and they're swedged together. See right here, they swedge together. So you can use as many as you want. I have three going up right there. They're four foot a piece. So there's 12 feet sticking up. The other four foot is clamped on to these little rails. So use the Tapcon screw with a flat washer. Mounted it directly to the chimney. It's secure about two feet apart. And this is an inch and a quarter pole. These clamps call for one inch. They're called one inch clamps. Inch and a quarter clamps are too big. So I went down to one inch clamps, they fit perfect. You get these a little loose and you're able to slide this up and down to adjust for your cable length. See how long your cable is. So you got your 8 dBi antenna up there. Uh, it won't focus with the lightning arrester. And then it comes down, you got your ground wire runs all the way down with the LMR 400 Ultraflex times microwave. That's what I recommend. I mean, you're spending all this money anyway. You might as well spend the money, get the good cable. Don't waste your money on cheap crap. You know, you get what you pay for. Ran this bad boy straight down into the roof. Made a little drip loop so the water running down this bad boy doesn't go. It's not trying to get right into your house. This is roof sealant. It's some sticky tacky stuff and I just filled up the hole with it, mounted up. There's not a lot of water comes right here because it's got this flashing. It should never leak. And when I pull it out, I'll just fill it back in with this stuff right here. We shouldn't have any issues with water leakage. Just got a little zip tie right there just to keep that little loop in there. We ran our ground wire down and grounded it to the patio. And from the patio, it goes down over here and I grounded the patio to the water service, to one of the water pipes. It's an old house, so it has copper pipes. So newer houses have uh, PEX pipes, so you can't do that. So ADBI antenna, you know, it sees up over the rooftops. It's pretty great. Well, that's one of my setups with the Rack version two liner and the rack wireless 8 dbi antenna i chose the rack 8 dbi antenna i watch a guy named justin miller the hodl helium channel he said he always used an 8 dbi and if you haven't watched the guy go watch him i think he shoots you straight you know uh so i went with the 8 dbi i mean do the research look at it you know hey it reaches out i think I think it does just as good as a 5.8. I really don't think there's a difference. I have some 8 dBi's up. I have one 5.8 up and they are exactly the same. No difference. I mean, so far, it's just been a couple of weeks, but so far, no difference whatsoever. So, I mean, they might be different. I, I did order uh, a couple of McGill's, I think a six and a seven dBi, and I'm gonna put them on some new installs and check them out and see how they perform so we'll see you know just to try it out in my area but right here at this house i'm at uh, about 965 elevation and the mean elevation in my area is a thousand and one so i'm down here in a little gully because there's a little creek right here behind me so i needed to get it up in the air and it really doesn't seem to be hurting me so with the 8 dbi so well thanks for watching if you like what you saw uh please subscribe i'll see you on the next one